We're going to have now is from colleague Sagar and Amanda Daniels. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I've focused my presentation today on the project as a whole. Colleague Sagar has undergone significant transformation since 2010. We have a newly led governing body and a new senior management team, and both have driven to place teaching and learning and its development at the very heart of our institution. The college has introduced key developments to achieve inspiration, innovation, and excellence in teaching and learning. One of the key developments we've undertaken during this period was um, the introduction of the Supported Experiments Project as the vehicle to raise standards and achieve excellence in teaching and learning. We decided in June 2012 that if we were going to try and achieve our aim, that we needed to take a whole college approach to the Supported Experiments. It was a bold and it was a very daunting uh, time, but it was something that we grasped with both hands. We engaged the support of consultant Joanna, who came in, and she helped us to uh, plan a way forward on how we might achieve our aims and objectives. The curriculum management team then identified 30 facilitators across the college, and those 30 facilitators undertook a half-day training with Joanne on solution-focused fo coaching. And we relied very heavily on those um, facilitators to uh, sh find a way through our, our project and drive it forward. And it was through their inspiration and their professionalism that um, it was driven at curriculum level throughout the, the period of 12-13. On the 12th of October in 2012, Staff Development Day, the official launch took place of what we named Innovate, our Supported Experiments project. It took place on all five campuses simultaneously with the principal uh, giving a, a video launch and then followed up by the directors and the vice principals explaining the aims and objectives of the Supported Experiments project. Staff then moved into smaller uh, curriculum area groups and they worked with their facilitators to identify real workable solutions um, projects which would hopefully help to, to solve some of the issues that they were having with learners or with their particular areas. Many of these projects were based on evidence-based teaching methods. This ensured that staff had ownership and that projects were individualized to meet their learner needs. And this is something that has helped to drive momentum and uh, keep the projects moving forward through the year. So, did we achieve our primary objectives? Well, our primary, primarily we wanted to raise standards in teaching and learning across the college. And yes, evidence suggests that we did indeed, indeed achieve this. We're moving positively towards excellence in teaching and learning as is reflected in our classroom observation for 12-13 and in our recent Estin report. Very positive 10% rise in excellent teaching during the period of the Supported Experiments project. As well as this significant move towards excellent teaching, overall learner outcomes at Colleague Sirgar over 12-13 have improved and increased by 4% to 84%. Secondly, um, did we embed CPD into everyday professional practice? Yes, I would say we did. Uh, we had 40 experiments going across the whole college with 150 staff engaged in those experiments during that first year. And in July, 250 staff across the college attended a two-day teaching and learning conference which provided opportunities for sharing practice in teaching and learning and showcasing pro uh, effective projects and helping to foster a sense of professional pride in our practitioners. But of course some of the greatest um, outcomes and experiences come from the staff and the students themselves and up there are a couple of the posts that staff placed onto our online repository. We developed an online repository um, on Moodle for Innovate and we um, within that repository, there was a, an opportunity for staff to blog and um, to also post 
questions or um, just information onto the forum, and that's some of the, the quotes that they posted on there. Through the online questionnaire, which was also done through Moodle at the end of the project, 56% of staff responded that their project had had a significant impact on their learners, and 44% had had some impact. In the future, um, we are currently in year two of our project. We started uh, slightly ahead of uh, schedule compared to the rest of the colleges in Wales. So we were um, sort of finished a little bit beforehand. So we've gone into year two. Many of our lecturing staff this year have decided to focus on using technology to enhance learning. And we have also developed an innovation group, uh, PLC effectively, which uh, we're looking to develop an overseas visit to share practice overseas. We are piloting learning walks this year as well with one of our areas to share the practice of their supported experiments and their teaching. Thank you very much.